Hello knowledge seekers. Welcome to my channel Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. This is Shoman. Today our subject is about the flanges. The flanges are the component which are used to connect piping to pipeline, piping to piping or piping to valves. So based on the purpose, the flanges are of different types, has different types of surface finish. Let us start. The first topic is types of flanges. There are three common types of flanges based on their faces. First one is plain or flat face. The second one is raised face. And the third one is ring type of joint. The flat face generally used for lower rating. Raised is medium to higher. And ring type of joint is for the higher rating flanges starting from 900 to 1500, 2500, etc. Some other types of flanges are also existing which are tongue and groove, TNG, lap joint and male and female type of designs. But these type of flanges are less popular. I put all these six types of flanges in the photos for your easy reference. We used to hear about ANSI and ASMI flanges. What are the difference actually? ANSI flanges are manufactured based on standards developed by organizations and ASMI flanges are based on codes and standards for mechanical devices. The ANSI flanges are designed based on approximately 9500 standards, whereas ASMI flanges manufactured on 600 codes and standards for different mechanical devices. We have seen the flange faces are having some small groups which is also termed as serration. This is generally done by special machining process. But do you know these flange faces have different types of finish which apparently not visible. The flange face surface is the area where the sealing element that means gasket is installed. The most common flange face designs are smooth and serrated. Flat face flange surfaces and raised face flange surfaces require serrations if built to industry standards. Here are some standard types finish required and determined by ASME. One is stock finish, spiral serrated phonographic finish, concentric serrated finish and smooth finish. Let us go through each of that type to get an idea. Stock finish, the most widely used of any flange surface finish because practically it is suitable for all ordinary service conditions. Required for flange facing is direct content with a gasket. Under compression, the soft face from a gasket will embed into this finish which helps to create a seal and a high level of friction is generated between the mating surfaces. The resulting finish is a roughness between RA 3.2 and 12.5 micrometer which is equivalent to 125 to 500 micro inch. You can see the enlarged view of the serrated area. There are the dimensions as required in ASME standards. The second type is concentratic serrative. As the name suggests, the finish comprised of concentric groups. A 90 degree tool is used and the serrations are spaced evenly across the face. In the photo you can see it more or less looks like a gear teeth. So the spiral serrated is also a continuous phonographic spiral group but it differs from the stock finish in that the groove typically is generated using a 90 degree tool which creates a V geometry with 45 degree angle serration. 
Concentric ring type finishing is used when fluid is of very low density. If use spiral type of finish with very low density fluid, it may find leakage path through the spiral cavity. So this is very important point where the concentric ring types are used and where the spiral type finish are used. The last one is smooth finish. This finish shows no visually apparent tool markings. These finishes are typically utilized for gaskets with metal facing such as double jacketed, flat steel and corrugated metal. The smooth surface made to create a seal and depend on the flatness of the opposing faces to effect a seal. This is typically achieved by having the gasket contact surface formed by a continuous, sometimes called phonographic, spiral groove generated by a 0.8 mm radius round nose tool at a feed rate of 0.3 mm per revolution with a depth of 0.05 mm. This will result at roughness between RA 3.2 and 6.3 micrometer, which is equivalent to 125 to 250 micro inch. Smooth finish flanges are more common for low pressure and or large diameter pipeline and primarily intended for use with solid metal or spiral wound gaskets. Smooth finishes are usually found on machinery or flange joint other than the pipe flanges. When working with a smooth finish, it is important to consider with a thinner gasket to lessen the effect of creep and cold flow. It should be noted, however, that both a thinner gasket and the smooth finish in and of themselves require a higher compressive force, that is bolt torque, to achieve the seal. So how we generally designate a flange face surface finish? I am giving one example. What is a 125 surface finish? A 125 RA or RMS finish is what one normally considers a standard machined finish as opposed to a 250 which would be rough. On the other hand, 63 would be fine, 32 cannot easily be obtained by machining and has to be ground, 16 absolutely has to be ground, etc. The American Society of Mechanical Engineers Ask me has been around for over 130 years and is the standard setter for mechanical engineers in over 100 countries around the world. Ask me set the standards for flange face finish types through the ANSI accredited Ask me standard B16.5, ensuring all gaskets and flange fittings are consistent and fit for the purpose allowing a high quality seal. So that's all for the types of flanges and the types of flange face serration. Hope you like my video. Please share and subscribe. This is Showman signing off.